Welcome to this epic six story, yes, six story shipping container home tree house. It is dubbed the Air Castle. It is made up of four 40 foot containers and two of the four containers are completely inverted to create this incredibly unique design. This is definitely one of the craziest Airbnbs I've ever come across. Let's now hop straight into the full tour. Welcome to the incredibly unique Air Castle shipping container home treehouse located in Ladonia, Texas. Not only is this one of the most unique Airbnbs I've ever come across, but it's also definitely the tallest. We have a lot to cover on this full tour. We'll begin first on this side of the treehouse, which is personally my favorite because you can see the containers a bit more and begin to visualize these six different stories. There's also an endless amount of decks, patios, and balconies that we're going to check out a little later. But for now, let's start more underneath the home. This is, yes, technically a tree house. A lot of the home sits on this one tree here on the right hand side, and it's all very stable and structurally sound. Now, on the other side of the property, you have this large fire pit area. You have a lot of different seating options. There's already a nice fire pit and some fire starting supplies waiting for you. But I really enjoy these three unique chairs over there on the right. You can just kind of swing around in circles on them and they're a lot of fun. Let's now go and check out more of the home. We'll go up this walkway now. You'll see it says Ladonia on the side of one of the containers, along with a few other symbols like the Texas A&M logo. We'll walk up these other stairs and continue on to this grill area. It has a large grill, also a refrigerator and a bench. And if we walk up another flight of stairs, we'll now finally come to the main front door. So let's open it up and go inside. When you first enter on the right hand side is your living room and on the left is your kitchen. So it's a very open floor plan. But we'll begin right next to the door. You have this bench and sort of mudroom area. But there's also this really cute idea. If you're here with your significant other or your family, you can engrave your initials into a lock and put it up top, which we'll see more of later. Before we go much further, I'll take off my shoes. There's actually a suggestions box on this wall, which I think is a great idea that all hosts should implement and some nice personalized postcards. So some nice items in this spot. We'll venture more into the kitchen now. We'll start first with the dining table. You have four chairs around it and the host left some info on the area like the nearby Ladonia Fossil Park. They also left some cookies from a local bakery. These were to die for. I had all of them. They were really, really delicious. Now into the actual kitchen more, you have a lot of countertop space on either side and your sink can be found over here. This is a modern farmhouse interior. You also have all of your glasses and plates imaginable and some nice appliances like your dishwasher. Let's now shift our attention to the opposite end and go more into this corner, which is the coffee bar. There are like four or five different types of coffee makers here and a ton of different Keurig cups. I am no coffee expert, but if you choose to stay here, you will definitely get your caffeine fix. Further down, you have your microwave and stovetop and a bunch of condiments and spices. There's also that beautiful white backsplash. The hosts continue to be extremely generous. This is just a few of the items in the fridge, but they left behind some ground coffee, eggs, and butter. Finally, if we go all the way to the end here and open up this door, this is one of the many outdoor decks at the treehouse. Next, after the kitchen, let's now go and check out the large living room area. So we're gonna walk in a bit further. Actually, one of my favorite features was just those really comfortable couches and the chairs. These are like movie theater level of quality and style and comfort, and they have some really cool features, which we'll see more later. But let's now go and check out this TV space. Of course, it's a smart TV, and you also have a bunch of games that can be found on these shelves. It's quite a wide selection here, so if you're here with a family or a group, this is perfect. Everything from checkers and Yahtzee to Sari and Uno. Next to the TV, there is a tribute to the local fire department. Don't miss it. But now I'll turn our attention back to my favorite chairs and the couch. There's even more snacks left behind, but now movie theater quality as promised. You can push a button and these will slide back and they are oh so comfortable. 
Next to this door, you have a fireplace for when it gets to be a little colder out. Let's now head over to these windows. And there's some books with info on the local trees and birds of Texas. And the host really organized a lot of great info. There's some binoculars as well, so you can look out. And a lot of the same four or five animals continue to visit this tree house and the trees nearby. Some of them, like these squirrels and even this bird, have names. Like this is Steven Tyler, the bird, if I recall correctly. Directly. Also, later at night, some of the hogs or the pigs finally visited. It kind of looks a little creepy or weird with like the green night light going on, but I thought it was pretty cool to witness. Now we're gonna head through these double doors and they managed to somehow squeeze a hot tub into this container home treehouse. I thought that was very impressive. There's also a bunch of chairs and seating options and extra towels and you could fit a lot of people in this hot tub. Now I'm gonna walk down this hallway past the TV and we're gonna go through that far door. And this will take you into the one bathroom inside of this treehouse. It's quite luxurious and very well done. Of course, it comes with some complimentary bathroom amenities, all the basics you'll need for an overnight stay. Near the door, you then have your toilet. And if you then look to the right of those double mirrors in the entire sink area, you have your beautiful shower here with two different types of tiling. I'll now exit the bathroom and I'm going to begin to head downstairs. We're going to start on the ground floor and slowly work our way up to the very top floor. But these stairs just look insanely cool. I'll focus on them more a little bit later. But down this way, you actually have a nice laundry area here all the way at the bottom on the ground floor so you can even do some wash during your stay if needed. Let's now head into the blue bonnet bedroom. The two bedrooms in this treehouse definitely gave me a bit of a cozy and rustic cabin vibe, which I really enjoyed. Next to the bed, you have these two tables on either side and those high quality lamps. You can also move these curtains to block some of the strong lights. There's a luggage rack and even an additional TV here in the top right hand corner. Next, I just want to point out the staircase. It's truly incredible and I can only imagine what it took to build something like this. But they hung a string light that goes all the way down like this and you can tell by the multiple mics here, just some of the different floors and where they're located. But let's now walk up to the top interior floor. This will take us to the Chuckles bedroom. We are now on the fourth floor of this container home treehouse, I believe. This particular bedroom, I ended up sleeping here and it's pretty similar to the other bedroom that we saw down on the ground floor. This has a slightly different color scheme throughout. If we also look up here, there is another TV and I believe this is actually Chuckles the Squirrel. That's pretty much everything for the interior. So I'm now gonna go through this door to go back outside. We still have two more floors to see, so don't go anywhere. I'm going to round this corner and this will take us to this very tall staircase. Let's now begin to climb this spiral staircase. It's a lot of stairs. This is taking me too long to get here. But we'll come to this bottom deck. We have this nice outdoor dining table with four chairs around it. If you go further down, you then have these two lounge chairs and another small table. And the sun sets basically directly facing this deck area. So it's quite pleasant. I think this drone shot gives a good idea of the layouts of those top two outdoor decks. Well, let's now climb the spiral staircase again and finally arrive to the tippy top of this treehouse, the sixth floor. This is called the crow's nest. You'll notice some of those engraved locks hanging here on the fence that we saw earlier and you are directly facing sunset here at this location. So it is just really perfect. This is one of my favorite drone shots from this entire shoot. I think it just really shows how epic this shipping container home treehouse truly is. That is just such a crazy combo to me. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all very soon for a brand new Airbnb tour.